I'm Daniel. I'm Jay-Z. And this is Just My DIY. You know, we love our Glowforge Pro, but the one thing it doesn't have is a rotary attachment. A rotary attachment would allow us to do tumblers. And you know how much we love our drinkware around here. But now, there's a way. That's right. We have found a special kind of tumbler that you can engrave in your Glowforge. And if you want to find out how, watch the video. <coughs> So we're gonna find these on the JPP website. Of course, they come in many different colors and everything when it's lasered will be engraved in white. They do have some tech docs and downloads. In particular, we like the uh, silicone sleeve jig that we are going to cut first. We're using a piece of acrylic from Etsy that we're gonna slide into the machine. We're gonna square it up against the corner of the crumb tray so we know it's perfectly square. And we're gonna grab that file and drag it in. Now, of course, first thing to do is to get the settings. Uh, even though we got this off of Etsy, the medium black acrylic proof grade settings work well for it. So we're going to select everything and move it up until everything is orange. And then print it. That's gonna be about eight minutes and 46 seconds. So we push the glowing blue button and wait. So when we pull this out of the Glowforge, you'll need this piece, which is the jig. And then you have a bunch of these spare little pieces, which are useless for this project, but hey, maybe. <laughs> you can use them for something else. So we're gonna take those inserts and we're going to pull the sleeve off of the tumbler and then get it on the insert. The struggle is real. <laughs> I mean, the first time is the hardest, right? Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put the insert in the sleeve. It's a little wider at the top than the bottom. And one thing you will also see is that there's a little bit of a curve to it. But we'll get to that in a second. The first thing we want to do is just make sure that we have that up against the top of those little lips uh, to make sure that it's nice and straight. And now you can see that little curve at the bottom. Now JPP does have a template on their website. I didn't see as much of a curve in it as I felt these had. So we will now go into Photoshop and make our own template so we can make sure our graphics line up. We took a picture of these and imported that into Photoshop. We're gonna go ahead and say we're not Photoshop experts, but we're gonna show you the basics of what we did. We're right now just trying to delete all the extra pieces of the graphic that are not that black sleeve. Of course, we wanna make sure it's nice and straight. And then get down to just the shape of the black sleeve by highlighting and uh, deleting other pieces. So now you can really see that curve. So we're gonna create a rectangle on here first, and then we're going to distort it uh, and get it into the proper shape. So we'll use that distort feature first, and then we're going to go in, once we get all the edges lined up the way that we want, uh, we're gonna go into warp. And so warp is gonna let us get that curve that we want to have. Gonna come in here and pull that up until we see the black underneath and tweak that until it is exactly where we want it. Uh, I would say this is not an exact science for us, but that gives us at least a little bit of that curve to work with. So we pull in a graphic that has a straight bottom like this, we're able to give it that same warp. Uh, another way to get to the warp feature is of course going to edit, transform, and warp. Um, and this will help it just make sure that it looks a little straighter on the actual tumbler. So we're just checking our alignment here. We like it, and so we're gonna place it kind of in the center. This doesn't matter as much once you get into uh, the Glowforge, you can resize it. But we delete that rectangle, save it as a PNG, and now we're actually gonna show you a site that we love to use to create our SVGs, and that is PNG to SVG. All you have to do is just drag your graphic in, say how many colors you want. Um, obviously, we have one color here and it'll generate your SVG. This is free, you can donate to them. We highly recommend if you use it a lot like we do that you donate. Uh, but now we can go to back to the Glowforge. And use a caliper to measure how thick this whole thing will be, about 0.19 in this case. We're going to insert the framework, the, the uh, what we jig. jig, there we go. <laughs> and again, we're gonna slide it all the way up against the wall of 
the of the crumb tray to make sure it is as square as when we started place our pieces in there and push those up to the edge as well so that they can be aligned input our information and bring our images in yep and so we play a little bit with the scale and the size. I think we landed about three inches for this particular graphic, but obviously it's all whatever your aesthetic uh, is. So we get the sizes set, pull that one in, and we'll show you how we're gonna get the alignment on this. We're actually gonna pull in another square. Uh, we're gonna unlock it and get it to the edges um, of the template in there, and we're going to do the top and the highest point of the bottom. We're gonna select both of those and then make sure that we align it to the middle and center. Uh, that makes sure that the graphic does sit in the center of the tumbler or I guess in the center of the sleeve on the tumbler. Correct. So um, just going to do the same thing down here, getting that alignment set. Once we're happy with that, delete off that square because we do not need it. And then we'll show you our settings for the engraving. So we are on a Glowforge Pro, it's important to know, but we have a speed of 1000, a power of 55, and LPI of 270 for our engrave. So we will select that and go to print. Now, of course, this is gonna tell you that it's gonna take almost 20 minutes. <laughs> but when that blue button starts glowing, you have to push it. And it engraves, so twiddle your thumbs. And keep an eye on it. You should always keep your eye on the Glowforge when it is working. But it does soon accomplish the job, and you can see that there's a lot of like weird, like ghosted, Dust. smoked out stuff. <laughs> but that is actually supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, the next step is to pull out the goo gone, mm -hmm. and instead of spraying it, she's just gonna pour it right on there. And it's gonna take a little <laughs> elbow grease, but you're gonna go ahead and clean out all of that smoking silicone goodness. <laughs> Don't be afraid to get your elbow into this. It does take a little bit of scrubbing. Afterward, you can just wash that off with some water or light soap. Uh, just get the goo gone off of there. You can see we did do this two-sided. The first side was when we were working on our alignment. Um, and so now we just... Re-put the sleeve on the cup, really. Yes, re-put the sleeve on the <laughs> cup, exactly. <laughs> but look how good those turned out. Those turned out good. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed how easy it is to make your own tumblers inside the Glowforge. And don't forget that if you're in the market for a Glowforge, our referral code is listed in the description. This will give you up to $500 off your purchase, as well as give us something in return. If you have any fun little quips you'd like to see on tumblers, feel free to write it down in the comment line for us. If you like the video, click that like button, subscribe, ring the bell. And of course, everything that we have used to do this is listed below in the description. Also, the description are links to all of our social handles. Please connect with us across platforms. We love hearing from you. And don't forget to check out our blog at justmydiy.com. Thanks for watching.